Hey guys, my name is Fred. I'm with Prime USA Scales, and today we're going to talk about what you need to know regarding buying an axle scale and the five things that you want to avoid so that you get the right scale the first time. If you have any questions during this video, you can pause the video, give us a call at 800 917 7205, and we're happy to answer any questions for you. Let's take a look. One of the first things that we ask our customers is do you need an NTEP approved scale, which stands for the National Type Evaluation Program. If you're in a business where you buy or sell based on weight, by law you're required to buy an NTEP approved scale. This is going to govern fair trade for your business and you need to have the Department of Weights and Measures come down and certify your scale once a year. So if you are using a scale to buy or sell based on weight, we recommend that you purchase an NTEP approved scale. And axle scales are not legal for trade unless you're weighing the entire vehicle in one shot. So when you're using axle scales, you're split weighing the vehicle. Compared to a full length truck scale, the entire vehicle is pulling onto the scale and that's considered legal for trade where an axle scale is not. So again, if you're using the scale to buy or sell based on weight, we definitely suggest that you purchase a legal for trade truck scale. The second thing we like to ask our customers is what type of trucks you're going to be weighing. Whether it's cars, pickups, semis, dumpsters, bobcats, any other type of vehicle, that will help us determine what scale will be best for you. So in this case, we, there's different types of scales that we offer here at our company Prime USA Scales. The first that is the most economical, the most portable, is the Optima OP-928. These are called wheel weighers. And these are great for a company that doesn't have space in their yard or needs something very portable and easy to transport. So in this case, you can pick them up, carry them, throw them in the truck, or take them on the go and pull them out as you need them. These can be used to weigh single axles or dual axles. They come with a built-in printer and you can weigh each axle and get a total gross weight. The typical accuracy on this type of system is about 1%, which is usually the standard for most axle scales. And that model is the OP-928, which we will link down in our description so that you can take more, take a further look at that type of scale. The second option that's very popular is the OP-923. This is also an axle scale, but where this is different from the other model is that it's more of a permanent fixture in your yard. So it can stay outdoors. It is completely washed down and water safe. And this is usually much better if you have a lot more traffic and a lot of other different trucks that you need to weigh. So this works the exact same way as the wheel wears is that you'll pull up each axle and get your axle weights to add up to get your total gross weight. The accuracy on this type of system is around 1% of the given weight. Now, what's really nice about the OP923 is that they can be installed above ground or they can also be installed flush into the surface where it doesn't require any ramps. When you actually flush mount it, you're going to find a better accuracy and it's going to make weighing vehicles much quicker and easier compared to having it above ground where you need to utilize those ramps to get on and off the scale. The third option that we do carry is called an in-motion axle scale. This is our model, the PS80K axle. And this is much different than the other two models because it's called in motion, meaning you don't have to stop and weigh each axle to get a total gross weight. So what's really nice about this is if, if you have lots of traffic and you're weighing you know, 40, 50 to 100 trucks per day, this is going to move these trucks along very fast because you don't have to stop and weigh each axle. You'll actually drive straight across the axle scale around five miles per hour. And after you're complete, you'll get a printout that will show you all the individual axle weights plus your total gross weight. So this is very fast, very easy to use. They're also semi-portable. They typically weigh around 800 pounds, so they can be picked up and relocated if ever needed. The last option is more of a truck scale that does come in different sizes, but it's not typically a truck scale. It's more of an axle scale because you're not weighing the entire vehicle one shot like we spoke about before regarding NTEC. So some of the different sizes that these axle truck scales come in is 10 by 10, 10 by 20, and 30 by 10. Now these are great and is also a permanent fixture in your yard to be used outdoors. Why this is going to be better than the OP923 is that if you're weighing different types of trucks, whether it be pickups, cars, dumpsters, semis, 
those two pad axle scales on the OP923, they have to be spread apart differently based on the width of the vehicle. Compared to the Optima OP934, that model is just a single steel square deck. So like I was mentioning, it comes in 10 feet square, 10 feet by 20 feet, or 30 feet by 10 feet. And in that case, if you need something that can work for a variety of different cars, trucks, this is going to be your best option is to go with the Optima OP934. Next, we're gonna talk about the insulation on some of these different axle scales I mentioned in the previous segment. So, the Optima OP928, which is a small wheel wears, which are very portable, they're gonna pretty much come plug and play. We pre-calibrate them before we ship them to our customers. So upon arrival, all you need to do is set them down on a hard flat surface, and then you'll be able to pull your vehicle up and get away from the digital readout. It's as simple as that. It will only take you about five minutes to set up. The next model was the Optima OP923. Now this scale is a lot heavier. It's gonna weigh about 2,000 pounds, so you will need a forklift upon receiving this type of shipment. And to, to set it up, it's, it's also fairly simple, but having a forklift or a couple people on site is going to make this setup a lot quicker. So what you'll need to do is find a hard surface to set these on. You'll install the four adjustable leveling feet and set those down on the ground far, far enough apart for what you need for the width of the truck to drive onto. And then you'll take your ramps that are included with the scale purchase and put those flush up to each of the bases. Now all the ramps do have anchor tabs, so if you wanna fixate these into the ground so that there's no movement on the axle scale, that's an option. Most of the time our customers do anchor mount it just to secure those scales in place so they're not pushed around as the vehicles are driving on the scale. The next part uh, for the setup is there's two cables that come from each of the base and those will plug into the digital readout. The OP923 also does come calibrated. It will be plug and play and ready for use once it arrives. The in motion scale, which is the PS80K axle. This model is very similar to the OP-928. They will come calibrated. There's really no setup involved besides taking the uh, in motion scale, laying it flat down on the surface, and then taking your cables and plugging it into the digital readout. It also comes pre-calibrated and it's plug and play ready for use. The last option is the OP-934, which is the bigger axle truck scales, which are the ones measuring 10 by 10, 20 by 10 feet. And these do require a little bit more assembly. So with these bigger scales, it's a good idea to lay down a concrete foundation to set it up. And these also do have ramps that you can use to anchor down to the surface. All instructions are included for the setup. It will typically take around about 30 minutes to an hour to set up a 10 by 10 platform. And if you go with something larger, like 20 or 30 feet, it can typically take you about four hours to get it set up on site. Now the nice thing about the OP934 is that we do calibrate it prior to shipping. So once it, it does arrive, you won't need to go through and calibrate it. It's all gonna be just assembly, and then from there just plug and play, and you'll be ready to go to start weighing trucks. Now accessories are a very important part to making sure that your system for weighing trucks flows really nice and easy. So some of the different options that you can have are printers, scoreboards, wireless displays, and software. These are all different things that we do offer with all of our scales. So printers are great to record a weight and make sure the driver has some kind of record of what his weight is before leaving his yard. Um, this will be available with any of our different scale systems and they will all print out the weight, date, and time for your record. You can get your individual axle weights and your total gross weight. So a printer is very handy. It's one of our most common sold things with any of our axle scales is to purchase a printer. So we do recommend it just because it makes flowing of your service just much easier to have a record of the weights. The second option is a scoreboard display. The scoreboard display is a great option to give drivers a visual of what their weight is as they're pulling up each of the axles. Now, if you don't have somebody operating your scale, the drivers can still use the scale themselves and but figure out what that weight is as they're pulling their vehicle onto the scale. The third option is wireless. Now, we have options for wireless scoreboards and wireless indicators. So most of the time where the actual scale is set up is not going to be where the digital indicator is also set up. It's going to be maybe in a scale house or in a different location. 
So sometimes that distance can be, you know, 50 to 100 feet. And we do carry cables to run that far of a distance. But if you want to avoid any trouble with a cable, we do have options for wireless. And that can be up to a 300 feet transmission along with the scoreboard display as well. So if you don't want to run cables, uh, having a wireless display or scoreboard is going to make it much easier to, for the setup and to avoid running cables across your yard. The last option is software. Software is uh, you know, one of the greatest things to have to track all the different trucks that are coming into your yard, being able to have a record and see this over a period of time. Um, the software is optional. It's not required on any of the scales. The software will operate with a computer and we do have options for customizable software or hands-free software where basically once you pull the vehicle onto the scale, the data can be automatically uh, transferred into Excel and uh, saved for future dates and this will also record the wait date and time and different ID numbers can be assigned to these vehicles. So the software is great if you do want to get very uh, organized and make sure that you have the right information at your hand when needed. The last thing I'd like to talk about is the accuracy of a, an axle scale versus a truck scale. There is often a misconception that a, an axle scale is going to be just as accurate as a full length, full length truck scale. But there is a huge difference between the two and the reason is the split weight. So the reason the axle scale is not legal for trade and the accuracy is typically around 1% is because that you're split weighing the vehicle and that's why it's not considered legal for trade. If you're comparing that to a full lane truck scale, the accuracy is typically around 20 pounds of the given weight. So if accuracy is important to you and you want to get your most accurate weight, you definitely want to go with a full lane truck scale. Anytime you're split weighing that vehicle, you're going to see a greater variance and, the, and that greater variance is going to be good for avoiding DOT fines, not overloading your vehicle for in-house use or some kind of personal use where you need to weigh these trucks. That's where these axle scales are going to come in very good handy. It's going to be a cost-effective solution compared to purchasing a full lane truck scale. Now, once you have your axle scale, one of the important things is the maintenance on it. And really the best thing you can do is have your scale calibrated at least once a year to ensure the accuracy of the scale. Now you can do the calibration yourself. We do provide manuals. We do have resources on our YouTube channel that have the actual calibration procedure. So it can be done yourself. We always suggest to have a scale technician do it once a year for you. By coming out to your place of business or taking the scale to one of our local uh, 75 different locations, we can easily test all your load cells, your junction box, your digital readout, and make sure that everything is functioning correctly and that you won't run into any downtime or problems with your scale. So if you do need any future service or need help or questions, we do offer local service in 75 different cities throughout the United States, and we also offer free over-the-phone support. You can give us a call anytime, and we're happy to answer your questions. Thank you. Hey, thank you very much for taking the time to go through this video and listen to me talk about some axle scales. I'm sure you have some additional questions and we're here to help. If you give us a call at 800-917-7205, we're happy to answer any questions. You can also visit our website at primeusascales.com and we're here to help answer any questions and make sure that you get the right scale the first time and you can avoid any problems with your truck scales. Thank you for watching.